Ciao a tutti, it's Orion, and we are back with more deck profiles, finally. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of these lined up, but uh, still have to record them, but uh, first thing first, uh, uh, spellbooks. I have a friend who has uh, spellbooks all max rarity, but uh, yeah, I didn't want to wait too long to get to profile this, so maybe you'll see it in the world of spellbook uh, profile that I will do eventually. But uh, for now, yeah, uh, pure spellbook, uh, uh, the priestess build. Um, in my opinion, one of the best decks of the format, uh, uh, not tier 1, but uh, right below that, because uh, especially since now everyone is playing uh, triple maxi in the main deck, spellbooks can really take advantage of that by having a, a card in the opponent's hand being completely dead, uh, which is... Uh, oh. It's one of the main strengths of spell books. Uh, a lot of cards are dead versus spell books, <laughs> and uh, not a lot of uh, great sidings that a lot of people play. So, yeah, um, because like they are pretty specific to, to mostly just spell books. Um, but yeah, let's get uh, into it, shall we? First off, uh, oh, monster lineup is. Uh, very, very, very standard. Uh, we have uh, three blue boy, then we have three justice, and we have uh, three priestess. I'll move this. Okay, so uh, what this deck does is it searches. It searches uh, the magic players will see library, and in this case, it's uh, kind of true because they are looking for more books. Uh, but yeah. Blue Boy is your main normal summon of the deck, um, especially since uh, you know it's searchable of um, uh, you know secrets, and uh, he stays on the field unlike uh, Justice, uh, which is kind of the main uh, weakness of Justice because Justice uh, um, no, Blue Boy whenever he's normal summon or flip face up uh, he gets to search a spellbook. Justice, if you activate a spellbook during uh, the turn, you can banish her in the end. Can banish her. In the end phase to add the spellbook and the high priestess. And um, yeah, high priestess is the boss master of the deck, reveal three spellbooks. Uh, it's an effect summon, so the opponent can chain max C to it. And then you special summon it, then you can banish a spellbook from the graveyard um, to pop a card on the field. Um, which is useful for uh, stuff like Crescent in the early game, and then late game you can hold a bunch of these in hand and a bunch of books in hand and just uh, go ham <laughs> if you see the opportunity but um yeah that's it uh, almost uh, we are also running uh, three copies of maxi <laughs> i mean like uh, versus combo decks you really want to stop them from comboing off so this is very very strong uh, yeah, especially in this deck versus those decks, because you don't have that many interruptions. You know, you're just you're mostly going off of uh, card advantage, so a big aggressive push is gonna kill you, and uh, Max C kind of stops that. Uh, even besides that, uh, versus other decks, it's a you know draw one, draw two, it's good. Uh, it kind of stops them, especially since uh, you usually do have at least one negate. So Max C does put them in the between the hard and the rock place where they can't really extend much. Going into the main um, part of the deck, the spells, three copies of secrets, uh, secrets, <laughs> uh, three copies of Crescent, uh, it's kind of necessary, you know, this card sucks, you have to play three copies, <laughs> that's as simple as, uh, yeah, uh, like uh, I can only activate it if you have no spell, spell books in uh, the graveyard, uh, can't activate other spells besides spellbooks during the turn you activate it, but uh, and it gets a random spellbook. But you know you really need to get to your engine to get going, so you have to play this. And to master, you know to recycle your books. To towers, to recycle your books. <laughs> to eternity, to recycle your books. <laughs> okay. The, um, Okay, uh, well, Towers is uh, one of the main win cons of the deck. It gives you a second uh, draw phase and it keeps shuffling back your books. Uh, Master lets you activate uh, stuff twice. Uh, very strong, is bit, uh, especially power. And Eternity, you know, 
gets you back your the stuff you banished with fate and um, with uh, priestess. So yeah, and we are running three copies of uh, wisdom. I feel like three wisdom is the way in this deck. Um, like you know, can be that versus some matchups, but uh, versus uh, any controlled matchup, this turns uh, half their deck dead. So that's great. Well, versus any controlled matchup that isn't artifacts. Because this deck fucking hates artifacts. It, 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 it just loses to artifacts. <laughs> really, really bad. Uh, then for the one of uh, spellbooks, we have uh, the one of uh, limited spellbook of fate. She luckily just got a uh, reprint, or is about to get one, so it's gonna be cheap. Then uh, life, uh, you know, to summon back the priestess, uh, yeah, if it dies, make better pushes. Empower, you know, gives uh, your spellbook a stack and then uh, gives you a search, so very, very strong with uh, master, especially. Um, then to round off the spell lineup, we are running two pots of duality. You know, conflicts with crescent, but... Um, Still, it's good afterwards too, or if you don't top a crescent. And Book of Moon, because uh, it's very versatile. This is the only deck in which you pretty much have to play Book of Moon. Because, like, you can use it on the opponent's card, or more often than not, if the opponent attacks Blue Boy, you flip the Blue Boy face down, and um, that way you get a search. But, um, yeah, pretty much the objective with this deck is to keep. Uh, a spellcaster on the field so you have fate and keep cycling the fate meanwhile you can keep getting more and more card advantage so that's yeah going into traps we are running a, a kind of a weird trap lineup like uh more varied than usual uh we have to finish chains because uh, uh you have to protect your blue boy or your spellcasters um, you can definitely run three even. I decided to play one copy of uh, Tropic Strapple Nightmare instead of the third one, though. Simply because uh, it's uh, better versus artifacts. Um, you know, and also... With this deck, the opponent always knows there's a fate. But the rest of the back row, they never know. So it's kind of unexpected. And in that uh, sense, we are also running one copy of Mirror Force. You can run zero, you can run two. This is one of the few decks in the format that uh, likes to run Mirror Force because it's so weak uh, monster-wise. So, yeah. And then for the limited stuff, you're running, of course, uh, Bottomless, Torrential. It's worth it uh, because, well, it's just a blue boy. If it can stop their turn, uh, it's fine. You can, you can get rid of it. It's just important that uh, you have one for uh, Fate. But uh, besides that, yeah. Good, and uh, Solemn, to round off uh, the main deck. Oops. Going into the extra deck, this deck is the deck that cares uh, by far the least about your extra deck. Doesn't really go much into it, but uh, you know, it exists, you, you run it, so... Yeah. Why well, wouldn't you run anything? Uh, we have the Hierophant, uh, Big Eye and Dracosax for the Rack 7s. Big Eye and uh, Hierophant are spellcasters, so keep that in mind, that's important, because I isn't. Um, but you know, Hier uh, Hierophant is a heavy storm for the deck. Then we are running a couple of uh, rank 4s uh, for the Kaikus, if you want to side those. If not, you can run Synchros if you want to side effect Veilor. You know, this deck, uh, this extra deck is really flexible. Uh, we're running uh, 101 uh, Exiton and Crazy Box. Uh, Mainly because I, I I run crazy box because often uh, then more often than not if you're going into rank four it's because the opponent has kill drain so make crazy box. <laughs> uh, then we are running uh, the one uh, downer magician. You know, uh, stacking on top of any of your lower rank uh, monsters and uh, it becomes a spellcaster. That's amazing, especially since there is no great uh, rank three spellcaster so. Uh, yeah, we're running uh, Alcard, uh, Acid Golem, and Zen Mains. Acid Golem, same reasoning as a uh, Crazy Box, you know, crazy uh, Skill Drain. Alcard is the best offensive one, Zen Mains is the best defensive one. I don't know when you're, you'd ever make these, but you can run these, so yeah. Uh, and then for the only mildly important uh, part of the extra deck, besides maybe the 7th uh, and Downard, 
uh, we have the rank 2s, uh, Shining Elf, uh, Socket Box, Socket Boss. Uh, these guys are spellcasters, so keep that in mind. And Augusto Phoenix, uh, Gachi Gachi Gantetsu, and uh, Herald of uh, Pure Light. Uh, these guys are a bit better, but they aren't spellcasters, so that comes for something. Um, you know, uh, Shining Elf, this is the only deck that really runs uh, Shining Elf, but um, you know, can kind of protect the board. Uh, so. It's, it's all right, and Herald uh, recycles back your stuff. Gachi stalls. Uh, Phoenix uh, pushes a bit, and uh, Socket Boss uh, can sometimes remove stuff. I guess never really seen it do anything, but <laughs> you know it's a spellcaster. It's a rank two. Why not? It's spell books. You don't really need the extra deck. So yeah, that's it uh, from me. Leave a like, uh, join the discords, uh, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, uh, ring the bell, all the good shit, and good bye.